Mission 7, Impasse. Yoed et Kamaran, we are at the edge of the Gambian territory. It is to my understanding the English and the Gambian forces have hired a band of mercenaries, led by Perone Gressa, to help our approach towards Rim. Gressa receives regular payments from the English and Burgundians in exchange for his services. The payments are made in French gold and riches misappropriated through their incessant sacking and looting. In exchange, we patrol the village, ransacking the villages of our fellow compatriots, and attacking any of our units that dare pass through this region. We must immediately stop their reckless destruction of our lands and riches, for without gold, France will be a poor kingdom indeed. If we wish to advance to Rem, we must eliminate these mercenaries who bear allegiance to no man but worship gold. Mission Breeze! The French forces crushed the English defenses at Mont de Borgency, forcing the retreat of English generals and the death of others. Those who were fortunate to escape the sieges met their fate in the Tain de Janville, which was by far the greatest victory of Joan's career, where the French completely massacred the English. In all, Thousands of Englishmen and their allies perished during the Loire River campaign. The worst, however, was yet to occur. Mercenaries hired by the English and Burgundians to help stop the French advances had taken a foothold in the passage to the northern regions. These mercenaries were led by Perronet Grissard, a vicious man who had menaced the poor French citizens far too long. Under his orders, the mercenaries had disrupted crop yields, looted and pillaged towns and lived well off the wealth generated by the French peasants a good living augmented by the handsome payments from the English and Burgundians for their hired contributions to the enemy cause. Although there were other routes that could circumvent the passage to mercenary territory, Joan deemed it necessary to rid the lands of these hired thieves, for according to Joan's beliefs, any man or flag that willingly misappropriates the riches of the French land for their own purposes, without taking into consideration the inhabitants of France, was indeed the true enemy and an enemy that must be vanquished if freedom was to reign throughout all four corners of this great land. Charles VII did not consent to this action, deeming it unnecessary to risk any setbacks while direct confrontation was inevitable, and thus did not support Joan in her attempts to expel the mercenary forces from northeastern France. Nevertheless, Joan would not stop in her bid to eradicate France of any mercenary forces, despite the lack of economic or military support of the Dauphin. All she needed was the moral backing of her courageous generals, something she could readily count on. The decision was made to free the lands of mercenaries and return the riches back to their rightful owners, the people of France, before embarking on the route that would see Charles VII finally crowned king. Okay. Capture Saint Pierre de Montier, capture DC, capture du Donner, capture Sir. Cersei la tour capture de Porges le capture de bois du Valens on the slave de Max John de Max Max Blair Okay Numbers Oh it's him he's really hard to defeat and he is yeah, this is going to be a tough mission. Where are we on the map? We're here. There's a lot of territory to take. We'll take some township before going on to the... Uh, before going on to the uh, main... Uh, I can't think of it. Fortress like thing. That's my horse and gun. No! No! Let's go ready. Can't pick those up.
This is on a new base and I'm without a horse. This sucks. Let's just take everyone. Come on! There's a country yes. to be saved! Following, following general. general! Yes? Following general! Yes? Following general? Yes. Following general. Yes? Let's go everyone. There lies the mercenary stronghold of Saint Pierre Le Mortier. Though the walls are of wood, its sheer size suggests we should expect to encounter many mercenaries. The path to the left must lead to the rear of the castle, but I would not be surprised if enemy units were patrolling the region. Okay. Boy, raise the gate. I'll be good payments as I that makes just a bit over a hundred barrels of gold we have wrangled from the hands of those ridiculous pe defenseless peasants. Excellent places at the usual location. I will let Sir Matthew go there immediately. I'm sure you wouldn't enjoy counting the gold ingots before our overseer, Lord Perisint Dressart, distributes the wild. Raise the gate! Those English bastards have been making payments to mercenaries with gold forged from the toil and sweat of our people. We must put an end to their incessant looting and recover the gold taken from our people and return it to its rightful owners. Ah, payment as usual. What would this war be like without the captivating mist of gold to add its sparkle? Just set the cargo next to the barrels. We shall divide the bounty later. I shall await the next delivery. The other cartman had better not tell it. You know how our men are loyal only with this precious metal. If they don't receive payment, there's no telling how Lord Gesserit's men will react. Formidable as they are, we must find a way to enter the walls of this stronghold. Yet the frontal attack will prove suicide. Surely there must be another way inside. The cart must come from an enemy camp. If we can locate the camp and sabotage the delivery, then once his gold payments fail to arrive, I'm sure that Grassar will be most upset. Or why not bribe the gate guard? Provided we can match his price in gold ingots, I'm sure he can find a way to gain us entrance. Nah. It seems that our mercenary friends are none too loyal to their lord. Every man has his price. I believe that if we possess enough gold, then perhaps we could even bribe mercenary units to support our king. There are over 100 barrels containing gold scattered all over the land, so pair of yellow dots on the new map. Holy oh, shit, they're wearing blue, but it's still evil. The 
noticed us. Critical kill. Oh god! Need a lot of money for this. Better not buy them more. More gold. Gold. Not for our view, Nice fly, so we get to fly. <laughs> the French challenge it here. Down there. If only I could get down there. No, I can't get down there. I get some more gold. Cactus. 
Few more times. Come on, there's a country to be saved. Ooh. I'll set that up. Township of this champs to north. Unfortunately, your weak system is all perished under our might. If you do not wish to suffer a similar fate, suggest you approach no more. 
do not enter and will not attack you. You have been warned. It appears that the small town of Deschamps de Nord has been completely overrun by our enemies. Let us ensure they all perish for their transgression. French, you must be here for a goal. We must protect our valuables. If we bribe the mercenaries, surely they will serve under our banner and attack the English and Burgundians. Once the mercenaries kill enough enemies, I am sure both Burgundians and English will seek something. Oh, I'm here for your goal, bitch. Captured the Deschamps de Nord. Right. Still without a horse. the back. Yeah. Capture the township. That was easy. Well, I think uh, the uh, council of the fourth town of St. Thomas so the point and all the most important to so the council attached to the good and English and those who ever since they established the all in the region. They will return to take water to a man who collect a sip for a man destitution if not survival on the raid. I only hope you can help us if they attack again. These poor villagers are too weak to resist another attack. It would be wise for one of our commanders to stay behind More and than one. should the enemy decide to raid this poor town again. More than one if we've discovered. Have them all there except Jane. Oh, what's the wind going on? Nice. Now you've got the very best in French weaponry successful, I even know if you're going to be in English, please have a look. Oh my god! Only Jen after that. Keep the phone on. We have more cash. Only. Leave everyone but Joan here. a lot of people 
Holding position. Standing my ground! Awaiting further instructions. Staying in position. Yes? Well, fuck off, and then I'll be fine. This time round, I won't die. We go to then that's another bloody... Ow. I'm just looking at more than 15. Cannot execute command. Yes. We'll have to drag them later. Yeah. They go in the township. We must deliver these barrels of gold to those damn mercenaries again. Come on now, let's stack up the gold. We haven't got all day, lads. Wait, I sense French troops approaching. Quick, protect the gold. Range units guard our coffers. Infantry assist me at the gate. They used to pay off the mercenaries. Let's destroy it so the mercenaries receive no more payment. Alright. Just 15 man, yeah, I feel a bit short chain. The cart will not allow the enemy to destroy and take our gold. Seconds at gold up there. To destroy the merchant cart. That's good. In the fucking hall outside somewhere. You've got to